Hey YouTube, here is Kathy from Kathy Director and in this Photoshop tutorial I want to show you how you can recreate the Harry Potter poster text. When you look at Google and search for Harry Potter and the Deathly Horrors 2 poster you will find some posters with this red shadow thing here. So yeah, that's my version. Maybe the on the poster is better or yours will be better, but mine is like that. And I used the name Terry because the uh, name Harry Potter is, I think, maybe it's copyrighted or not. I don't know. So, whatever, uh, let's go and start. So, first of all, let's go and click on the uh, tool and write your text. And I used the font Harry P. You can find that on dafon.com and then type in Harry Potter or Harry or Potter. You will find this font. It's free for Windows and Mac. So write it with uh, your font now and then double click on the font layer to open the layer styles or you go to layer and layer style here. So here in the layer style First we go to Gradient Overlay and click in this section here and choose the gradient. I have it already. You see it here. It's uh, like gray. And on the right a bit more lighter. So click OK. And make opacity 100. OK, so next we will set in the bevel and embers. So for click and check bevel and embers and click on bevel embers. For there we use inner bevel. After that technique we use crystal hard. So go from smooth to crystal hard, chisel hard and set the deep to 200. Next is to choose the size, 32. And then go down to shading and use the angle of 40 and the altitude to 58. Then go to the highlight mode and set it to overlay and choose our light red. I choose this here, it's a E39595 and the shadow mode to linear burn and a dark red. So a bit like that. It's 832D1E. And set the opacity to 100. After that go to contour and set it to 58%. Next go to texture. Click on texture and click on the error and choose the texture rusty. You will find this texture at patterns and then click OK and all this will pop up and go on rusty. After that set the scale to 100 and the deep to 35. Next step is to click on inner, inner glow and click on inner glow and set it to overlay. So opacity to 100 and the color to a light orange red it's EFC1B5. After that go to Satin and click there. In Satin choose a blend mode linear burn and the color a dark blue gray. It's 1B202B02D. Uh, and set the opacity to 62, the angle to 20 the distance to 103, size 54, then go over to inner shadow and click on the inner shadow, go to the blend mode overlay and set it to a light red, it's E2B6B6, opacity 100 and the Turn off use global light and set the angle to 182. Set the distance to 10 and the size to 10. In the last step is to make a, a bit of drap shadow 
and click on drop shadow. Let, leave it multiply and set the opacity to 42, the angle to 40, and set the distance to 3 and the size to 10. And after that it should look like, depends on the size of your font, uh, my font is 207 and it will look like that. I think it looks great, it's a great text effect. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope to see you next time. Requests are welcome, so write in the comments for Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 40, Blender and GIMP and I will try my best. This was Cassie from Cassie Director and I'll see you next time. Bye.